In this video, I'm going to be giving you a demo of the final project we're going to be creating for our course. So the project we're going to be creating for our course is a notebook application. You'll notice here I put in four notes already, and each one of these notes has a letter and a color beside it. So each one of those letters stands for the type of note that we actually created. So I have a finance note here, a technical note here, a quote note here, and then a personal note here. So if I were to click on any one of these notes, it will open to a view note screen, and you'll notice we can go ahead and view that note, right? So we have that personal note, we have that quote, we have the technical note here, and then we have our finance note, right? So the first thing I can do here is I can go ahead and add a new note by clicking on this action bar at the top here, this button, and then I can select the type of note by pressing on this button here, so a quote, finance, personal, technical, I'll do technical. I'll say, you know, I'm adding a technical note here. And then I click here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and type in here too. So uh, this is a technical note. It's meant for things like recording programming notes, let's say. If I can spell that properly. Right, so once I go ahead and I type in my note here, I click on save note at the bottom, and you'll notice a dialog window appears. It says, are you sure you wanna save the note? I say confirm, and then you'll notice it now gets added to the top of our notebook. So pretty simple so far, right? If I wanted to edit any one of these notes, I just long click on it. So let's say this finance note. I'm gonna long click on it, you'll notice that two options appear here an edit and a delete i can click on edit to edit that note and now you'll notice it brings me to an edit note screen and i can go ahead and i can type in let's say finance edited note right and then i can type in here too to edit this so you know this is uh some added portion to my note right and so i can click save note confirm and then you'll notice that it actually is now edited right it says finance edited note and if I want to make sure that our text is edited too I could just click on it and you'll notice it says this is some added portion to my note right so we successfully edited our note well what if we want to go ahead and delete a note well as you probably have guessed I can long click on a note click on this delete item and you'll notice it gets deleted from our list right so I'll do that once again on this one I can delete it and matter of fact, I could actually delete all of these notes if I wanted to, right? But before I do that, I wanna show you the settings for our, our application. So if I click on these three little dots, a menu will appear. We only have settings in there. I'm gonna click on that, and you'll notice that I get prompted with two settings. So I can change my notebook title to, let's say, my name is Thomas, so let's say, you know, Thomas's Diary, right? I probably would never add that as my notebook title, <laughs> but why not, right? For demonstration purposes. So Thomas's diary, um, there you have it. Um, if I wanted to change the background color, what I would do, and if you didn't notice, it's right at the top left here, that's where it's changing. So if I wanted to change the color, I would go and I'd click on my settings once again. It says dark background, is the main background color dark? When I click that, you'll notice that when I go back, now it's dark, right? And so. Once again, if I were to you know, add a note, you know, and just kind of do that, everything works as it should, it's just the background is now dark. So that's gonna actually do it for our application. That's the demo of the application we're gonna be creating for our course. We're gonna do a few videos before we actually start creating this application that just go over some of the components that are necessary to create Android applications. But afterwards, as I said, we're gonna be creating this application, including every one of those components that we saw, and even that database that backs our notebook application. So I hope you're looking forward to creating this application. I did my best to create an application that you would also enjoy creating, and that would also teach you the basics or the fundamentals of what it means to create an Android application. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one.